Yo, Mo. Sup, Matt. Wanna grab a sandwich? Sorry, can't today. You want a diet? I'm fasting. The intermittent type? The Ramadan type. Well, it's that. I can't eat or drink from dawn until sunset. Well, at least you can have water. Nope, can't drink water. Not even water. Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? It is almost that time of the year again. The month of Ramadan. For those who don't know what Ramadan is, Ramadan is that time of the year again when your Muslim co-workers suddenly start using their full names again. Mo becomes Muhammad. AK is now Ahmed. Mei Mei is suddenly Maryam. And Shay Shay is now Shahid. But don't be alarmed, don't be alarmed. This is only temporary. The month of Ramadan is a very important month for Muslims, whereby from dawn until sunset, we abstain from any eating or drinking. And no, not even water. Wow. Muslims use this time to also increase their acts of worship to God through additional nighttime prayers called Taraweeh and Qiyam al-Layl. We also try to increase our recitations of the Quran. Some people try to finish it from cover to cover once, twice, or as many times as they can during this month. Other people take this time to try to remember where they put their Quran a year ago. I know it's here somewhere. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. It is an obligation on every mature and able Muslim. Other than the religious obligation of fasting the month of Ramadan, here are a few other main benefits that we obtain through fasting. Number one, empathy. Not eating or drinking really gives you an insight into how other people, less fortunate people all over the world feel who do not have access to food and water on a daily basis. It really gives you perspective and should also make you empathetic to people living in those conditions and should also make you appreciative of what you do have. Number two, patience. Abstaining from something natural, something like just wanting to eat or drink and doing so willingly teaches us patience. As we all know, life is not easy. Some days are good days, some days are bad days. From health and wealth and family relationships, we have our ups and we have our downs. The key to this roller coaster ride we call life is to be able to be patient. It teaches us to be patient through all of this and eventually, with every hardship, there is ease. Number three. Control. Control over what? Control over your desires, your needs, your natural instincts. During the month of Ramadan, we're fasting and staying away from things that are ordinarily allowed, permissible, halal. This teaches us that if we can control our desires for this month from things that we normally are allowed to do, then we can also control ourselves from things that are impermissible or haram or not allowed. In the religion. Whether it's drinking alcohol or eating pork, spreading gossip, lies, backbiting, anything and everything that is harmful and impermissible. The month of Ramadan helps teach us to control our desires, to control ourselves and stay away from these actions. Therefore, if you see your Muslim co-worker skipping lunch and their coffee breaks, rest assured they're okay. Okay, maybe, maybe just check in on them just in case. Like, I'm sure they're fine. And if you see us walking around wearing a mask everywhere, it's not because of the pandemic. We just don't want to spread that uh, morning breath. With that being said, I hope that helped clarify what Ramadan is. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. Mbarak alaykum shahar. And stay tuned for some upcoming Ramadan videos. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share this video. Support me by subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'm that Muslim guy. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.